I'm going to go through a series of maps that show different national level trends over time. We begin by looking at 1984. One of the things we note about 1984 is we can see a whole lot of red on the map. Very rarely do we see landslides, but this was the most recent for sure. 1984, what happened there in Minnesota? First off, Minnesota, a very uh, highly educated state, so that correlates with something we talked about beforehand, uh, people with uh, PhDs and a lot of graduate school uh, uh, graduates. Uh, uh, what we have there is a highly educated population that always votes Democrat. Further, we had a hometown candidate. The uh, presidential candidate for the Democratic Party that lost was from Minnesota. Also, we see D.C. Uh, D.C. is pretty much also a guarantee uh, for the Democratic Party. Continued on going to 1988, we can see a few more states were added to the Democratic uh, fold, particularly there in the Pacific Northwest, uh, but also West Virginia. West Virginia is a very interesting state. We can see it's very, very far from being a blue state today, but it actually has a Democratic legacy. Further, we see the hometown effect with the Massachusetts uh, being represented uh, in the Democratic uh, Party uh, with their presidential candidate. Going on in 1992, we can see a big change uh, nationally. Key to understanding what's going on here uh, is the hometown effect once again. So Bill Clinton from Arkansas, Al Gore from Tennessee. This explains this kind of this uh, this blue uh, area in Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana. Further, we can see the uh, the origins of, of what is very much a, a clear pattern today, and that's the Pacific Coast voting Democrat, uh, much of the Great Plains voting more uh, Republican. We can see the southern states, the southeastern states, the southeast uh, football conference states uh, becoming more, uh, more red, uh, but also New England and the upper Great Lakes being Democrat. One of the things to note is look at Indiana. We are very much an anomaly compared to our neighbors. Uh, we are actually a red state. Uh, and, of course, this largely has to do with uh, the vice president uh, candidate being from here. Continuing on, 1996, we can see the Bill uh, Clinton, uh, Al Gore uh, uh, campaign once again winning, uh, and continuing to keep those same states uh, that we see and picking up a few others as well. By the time we get to 2000, which is, of course, a very close election, we can start to see these, these core areas develop, the Pacific Coast being blue, Upper Great Lakes, uh, the Mid-Atlantic and New England being also blue, but then the south, uh, southeastern uh, part of the United States, the Great Plains, the interior, Texas, uh, Alaska, uh, more of our rural places becoming uh, very much Republican strongholds. And that really played out there in 2000, which was, of course, a very close election. For 2004, pretty much the same pattern plays out. Just a couple states change hands. I believe New Mexico and Iowa uh, went Republican, uh, whereas New Hampshire went Democrat. Those are often swing states. Of course, 2008 was a change from the previous two elections, as it was won by the Democratic uh, presidential candidate. One of the things we know... Further here is we got the, those core areas I've mentioned before, uh, but you can see some of these swing states. Some of these states that kind of go back and forth, like your Colorados, your New Mexico's, your Iowa's, North Carolina and Virginia, Florida. Those are the states that are always kind of very much 50-50 in these elections. It's where the, much of the campaigning, much of the media focus is always and rightly focused. These 10 states here represent states that switch from Republican to Democrat and caused that change in 2008. These also represent, for the most part, our swing states. However, as I'll talk about here in a future video, Indiana, we're not so much a swing state anymore. We just happen to be in 2008, uh, a bit of an anomaly for us. This map here shows the shift from 2004 to 2008. So if you're blue, that means you went more Democrat. If you're red, you went more Republican. So let's go through and understand some key patterns. First off, this area here, we saw a big shift to Democratic Party. More what's going on here is this is an area that in the 2000s, early 2000s, the four or five years before this election in 2008, they had massive deindustrialization, massive job loss, essentially outsourcing. Why you like cheap goods? Why you like Walmarts? Because the goods cost cheaper. Well, we're not going to get those goods manufactured here in the United States anymore to make sure we 
keep those uh, costs still low. So these are places that have job loss, and so it's more people just want to change uh, because they've had uh, you know job losses, they've had school closings, they've had uh, homes foreclosed, and all of that. They just want something different. Now we have this area here that went more red, went more Republican. I call this the Upland South. Uh, the states of Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Oklahoma. We got a few different things going on here. First off, Mike Huckabee very in much energized uh, the Republican base in this area. Further, you had Hillary Clinton, who was a Democratic uh, primary candidate, and a lot of her voters uh, were were more kind of the, during the primary they were pretty upset about with with uh, Barack Obama, and so they were kind of saying, "Well, we're not going to vote for you uh, because they lost in the primary." Uh, but I think more than anything, what we got going on here is the erosion of the Clinton-Gore effect. And so these are areas that probably are traditionally more Republican, uh, but during the 90s were Democrat because of the hometown effect, and these people were all riled up to vote uh, for their hometown guys. Uh, further, if we go to uh, West Virginia and Eastern Kentucky, uh, their coal is the dominant industry. And so they perceive the Democratic candidate uh, to be a little bit more uh, against coal, a little bit more favoring other um, alternative uses uh, for energy besides Besides coal. Continuing on, we've got the home state effect for uh, Alaska and Arizona. Uh, these are why these areas kind of went pinkish or blue uh, in certain parts um, because of Republican uh, candidates. Uh, further, we've got another key area using uh, human geography terms. We've had a mass migration, uh, and this is Hurricane Katrina. Uh, and so Hurricane Katrina devastated this area, actually a couple uh, hurricanes back to back. And so what it did was it caused a forced migration and also a mass migration of individuals who uh, traditionally vote Democrat. Uh, and so if you think about lower income African American uh, individuals from this area, they moved to uh, Mobile, Alabama. They moved to uh, Memphis, Tennessee. They moved to uh, Houston, Texas. They even moved to uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. We had some Katrina refugees here. So here you can see kind of the out-migration of a group that would typically vote uh, a Democrat. 